Hello? Uh, let's have uh, some initial discussion before doing the capacity uh, planning or analysis or any capacity improvement in a network. And uh, these are the basic stuff we need to understand before going for uh, capacity planning or you know, if the total planning planning, uh, we have planned capacity coverage, uh, taking into uh, account, uh, we are meeting the quality requirements also. So we should have these points. Uh, these are vendor specific, like uh, simultaneous attached users per MME. We need to understand how many simultaneous users would be allowed in MME. So it depends what kind of vendor equipment we are using. Accordingly, uh, we'll get that license or, you know, the allowed numbers. Then the IP sessions, number of IP sessions should be greater than or equal to ideal or connected users. So total IP sessions is the combination of ideal and connected users from gateway or the packet gateway which uh, you know allocates us IP. The third point will be the HSS subscriptions. What is the maximum number of uh, home subscriber you know subscriptions uh, we can take then uh, how many total number of subscriptions allowed in the network total number of subscriptions then this one is detached these are attached so in attached uh, users uh, this is controlled by MME simultaneous attached users these are the simultaneous attached users and uh, they move from idle to connected mode and connected to idle mode arch for requirement second point is the design perspective in terms of UE is concerned, so the UE TX power is 23 dBm, these are the parameters for UE when considering the planning or the link budgeting. Uh, UE noise figure is considered 7 dB in LT, UE antenna gain is 0 dBi and uh, uh, UE height normally we keep 1.5 meters, uh, average height of a man and the UE type, if we choose type 3. Uh, we are having this specification allowed in a uh, type 3 like downlink throughput is 100 mbps, uplink throughput is 50 mbps, 2 cross 2 MIMO is allowed, 2 antennas in the mobile and 2 antennas supported in the base station or the E-Node B, uh, 16 QAM allowed in uplink and 64 QAM allowed in the downlink. That's all uh, pre-requirement or prerequisite when designing a network understanding the capacity and the UE specifications. Thank you so much for watching. Please watch the next video for more updates. Thank you.